Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marissa. So today I'm just going to do my night routine, which is really not that drastic at all, but I have to be at work every morning at seven o'clock in the morning. So I do a lot of things the night before just because I like sleeping in and I am super irresponsible when it comes to actually waking up on time and giving myself time to do anything in the morning. So I usually just do all of that the night before. And while I'm doing this, I'm gonna answer, I put on Instagram for people to ask me like juicy questions. They're really not that juicy, I don't think, but um, they're just more like in depth than my first video, which was just a Q and A get to know me kind of thing. So I am gonna make my lunch for tomorrow and answer some of these. First question is, what was the last thing you searched for on your phone? I'm pretty sure um, I ordered something from Fabletics, which if you've never heard of it, it is Kate Hudson's, um, apple juice, just say. It's Kate Hudson's, like, it's a line of, like, workout clothes and stuff. Um... And I ordered stuff from there because they had a lot of cute stuff for Christmas. And they randomly sent me a bunch of stuff that I did not order. So I Googled how to send that all back because they don't really have a storefront out in New York. So I'm going to have to mail it all back. And I wasn't really sure how. I tried selling it on Poshmark, but um, to get a full refund, they only give me like... 45 days or something so I might just return it all um, and mail it all back because that'll just be easier if you're wondering what this is I have it's called IBS you can just google what that means um, so I get stomach aches all the time and I have all these stomach issues which is a super fun time but I actually, it's funny because I'm starting to know more people that have the same issues that I have. So I have to put fiber powder in a drink every single day and it doesn't taste like anything. It like completely dissolves. Um, it's really not that big of a deal, but every single time I do it, everybody looks at me and they think I'm like putting protein powder in things, but it's fiber powder because I have stomach issues. So that's fun for me. Anyways, next question. What's the first thing you would do if you woke up one day as a guy? Go to therapy. I feel like that explains itself. Um, I know a lot of guys who could severely benefit from a therapist. Um, I don't think there's any shame in going to therapy. I go to therapy and I have recommended my therapist to many friends and I always joke that she should give me like a you know when you go to a store or something and they have a punch card like spend X amount of dollars and you get something free or whatever I always joke with her that she should do that like every time I refer someone to her she should give me like a free session or like a gift or something she always laughs but um, she hasn't done it yet so yeah, if I were a guy, I would see a therapist because there is just a whole mess of issues going on up there that most guys, maybe not all, really should get checked out by a psychiatrist. Next question. Do you cover your eyes during a scary part in a movie? Yes. Uh, I'm probably the worst person to see a scary movie with because I am a huge baby and um, most of the time when I watch a scary movie, if I watch a scary movie, I know that I'm about to be straight up traumatized. So I will either, it's one of two things, cover my eyes. I'll, I mean, I'll scream either way. Or I make sarcastic comments the entire movie 
Side note, these are mint Oreos covered in chocolate. Chef's kiss, they're so good. But, um, yeah, so I will either <laughs> cover my eyes and scream, or I will make sarcastic comments the entire time. And everyone in the theater probably hates me for that, but it's my coping mechanism so that I don't cry. Quick side note, because I think this is really, really funny. Also this angle, not good. Also the lighting, really bad. Anyway, all my friends were sending me their cute couple pictures and I'm single. So I made my own Christmas card by myself. Let's see. That's me doing a photo shoot by myself with pizza. Cause, Cause why not? And I sent that to my friends and I told them they needed to hang it up. I'm pretty proud of it, TBH. Do you sing in the shower? Absolutely, I sing. Every time I'm in the shower, I don't just sing. I perform to an audience that's not there. Uh, sometimes there's full choreography. I would also like to say I am fully tone deaf. So in my ears, it sounds like I'm kind of killing it. I have been told by, this is cute. I have been told by many other people that I have a horrible voice. And I was even told by my 10th grade chorus teacher that I should probably reconsider coming back to chorus the next year because I could not sing. I'm about to take a shower, so clearly I'm turning this camera off and I will get back when I'm finished. What is your biggest pet peeve? Um, I have a few. People who take food out of the microwave early and forget to hit the clear button. People with bad grammar, red flag. And people who are really close-minded. Um, those would probably be my three biggest pet peeves, if I had to guess. If you were allowed to marry more than one person, would you and who would you choose to marry? If anyone is on the table, um, Zac Efron, Ryan Reynolds, uh, Dwayne Johnson, Channing Tatum, and Corey Monteith, may he rest in peace. That would be, those would be my picks. That was about like five guys. Love that. Sorry, the lighting in my room is legit garbage. Nothing I can do about that. Um, okay, next question. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is being alone. And I don't mean like alone, like I don't like being like home by myself. I mean like my biggest fear is that I'll never get married or have kids, which are two of the main things that I would like to do in life. Um, that's my biggest fear, that I'll never like find someone and end up with them. Um, just put toner on my face. That's fun. Now, brush out my eyelashes. They look kind of ratchet. Um, okay, next question. Have you ever ding dong ditched someone? Uh, for sure, that was my entire childhood. The street that I grew up on was a cul de sac. I lived there till I was like 10 or I think 10. And we used to ding dong ditch our neighbors all the time. I also used to go in my neighbor's front and backyards and I would pick their flowers and steal them. Next question. Have you ever accidentally hit something with your car? <laughs> um, a couple curbs. Just a few. I think that's really it. Oh, I accidentally hit my mom. Um, she had just gotten her car fixed from when I was rear-ended when I was driving her car. That one wasn't my fault. And um, I was following her too closely on the way back from where she picked it up to get fixed. 
and I rear-ended her and cracked um, the, what's it called? Bumper in the back. She had literally like just picked it up after it had been fixed, so that's fun. Um, next. What part of your body do you love and what part of your body do you hate? I would say that I love my stomach. Um, I mean, I wear crop sweaters and shirts all the time. So I would say I love my stomach. I hate my boobs. If I had the money to get a boob job, I would do it. If you would like to donate my, no, I'm just kidding. Unless you're interested, I could use the help. Um, yeah, so love my stomach, um, hate my boobs. That's the one thing that I would change. Anything else I don't like about my body, I could change like at the gym by doing squats or working out more. Um, this is the one thing that I couldn't change. So. What hairstyle have you always wanted but never been willing to try? I really toyed with getting bangs not that long ago. I've actually been playing around with it for a few years. Not like these kind of bangs, um, like actual statement bangs. If you know who Leah Michelle is, um, the bangs that she had in Glee and obviously in real life, and then Dakota Johnson from like 50 Shades, I like her bangs. I just don't know if I can commit to blow drying and straightening them every day. That sounds like a lot for me, but I've always kind of wanted bangs. We'll see if I do that one day. Who do you hate the most? A lot of people should know the answer to this question. Um, <laughs> without getting too into it, I have a legal document that uh, keeps this person away from me. So that is for sure the person that I hate the most without one shred of a doubt. Have you ever seen the movie The Vow where they like get into that car accident and the girl like loses her entire memory of the last however many years? That's what I wish. Um, I wish that he would literally forget that I existed as a person and leave me alone for the remainder of my life because he is a stage five psychopath. So that would be who I hate the most. When was the last time you cried? So I'm pretty emotional. Um, thankfully, there's not anything insane going on in my personal life anymore to just make me cry all the time. Used to be. But sometimes you just need a good cry. And I needed a good cry the other day. So I watched the episode of Glee where um, Finn passes away. Which makes me sound really mentally unstable. I guess I am. But I knew I needed a good cry. So I watched that episode. Bawled my eyes out. I know everyone has like a first celebrity who passed away that really hit home for them. Like I know for my mom, I think Princess Diana or like when Elvis died, that hit her. When Michael Jackson died, stuff like that. Corey Monteith was mine. Um, I was in college and I don't know, maybe celebrities that I liked had never really passed away up until that point. But I remember a bunch of my friends texting me in the middle of the night telling me to check the news, like e-news. So I checked it and saw that he passed away and fully thought it was a joke. Did not believe it at all. I mean, I believe it now. It's just, that was like a really hard pill to swallow, I guess. Um, I was a big Glee fan, still am. And he was dating one of the co-stars who is my favorite character on the show. Like they were dating in real life too. And every now and then I still cry about that. So someone asked me, what is my go-to look? I said in one of my videos that I dress pretty lazy. I like things that are really comfortable. I'm really glad that the 
sweatpants and sports bras and comfy t-shirts vibe is a trend now because that's really all that I like wearing. But I want to get more sports bras that match all of my sweatpants. I don't have any like fun colored sweatpants, I don't feel like. But a cropped shirt or sweater with either leggings or sweatpants. That would be my go-to look right now. Pretty lazy, pretty low key. How did you and your best friend become best friends? Um, she's the one who submitted this question, but so five years ago, um, I posted a status on Facebook that said, I really miss cheerleading and I wanted to get more involved because I used to coach, I used to volunteer and coach um, a couple rec programs out here and I wasn't doing that. I had, I was just about to graduate college and um, so I posted a status saying I miss cheerleading and Allie commented on it and told me I should apply at Dynamic, the gym that um, she worked at. And we weren't really even friends. We'd been Facebook friends for a while just because we both cheered, but we were in different schools. And she told me to apply. I applied. I interviewed. I got the job um, that day. And then, so that was in September. And yeah, probably the next month in October is when we started getting really close. She was going through some stuff. I was going through some stuff. And I, I don't know. I feel like we found each other at the perfect time. I feel like if neither of us were going through the things we were going through, I don't know if we would be as close as we got, but we both really, really needed each other and leaned on each other at that time. And, um, five years later and we are still best friends and I'm also best friends with her older sister now. And one of my other best friends, Cheyenne, I also met her at the gym too. Basically all of my friends just revolve around cheerleading, to be honest. But yeah, I met Allie because she told me to apply at the gym. I applied, got the job, and we've been best friends ever since. Okay, I got a few questions like this, so I'm just going to combine them. Um, basically the gist is, would you ever date someone out of your race? religion um what does that other one say race religion or like sexual orientation I guess I'd say yes I'm uh not like judgmental at all um I'm also not I'm gonna say I'm not picky I am picky but not about that stuff um I'm picky about other things I feel like if you like someone, date them. I mean, I don't care what you look like, what color your skin is, what your religion is, blah, blah, blah. I mean, if I think you're a good person, then I'm just going to like you. I don't really care who you are or what you look like. So, yes, I would. What is your favorite Britney Spears song? My favorite Britney Spears song ever, um, this has always been my favorite song, is Lucky. I used to have choreography to that song when I was little that I would always do. I still do it whenever that song comes on, my like if I shuffle my music. So my favorite song is Lucky. Big throwback. If you don't know that song, go look it up because it is a 10 out of 10. Favorite team I have coached. Specifically, they said at the gym. Mmm. That's really hard. Yeah, I mean, I've always had good co-coaches. I've coached with, Liz was one of my really good friends. I coached with my best friend, Sam. I coach with my best friend, Allie, now. I can't complain. I've been super lucky to always get good kids and good coaches to be with. Sorry, I couldn't be more specific than that. Last question. Who is your favorite Kardashian? Uh, Keeping Up with the Kardashians is the first show that I binge watched when COVID first started back in March. I mean, I used to watch it and then I stopped probably around when Kim married Kanye. I think that's when I stopped. So I watched the entire thing and I'm all caught up, like even with the season on now. Super sad that they're only going to have one more season. I honestly thought the show would go on forever. 
but my favorite has always been Chloe. It still is Chloe. When she freaking <laughs> pretended to be a famous artist and made her mom buy all of those paintings, when it was literally Chloe, like painting with her fingers in her garage, I was dying. Um, Courtney's also really funny. And also Scott. He's not a Kardashian, but he's pretty hilarious too. So that is the end of the video. Really, the only next thing that I do is put a movie on and fall asleep. And I am an hour and 15 minutes behind when I would normally go to bed. Because I told myself I was really tired and I was watching TV earlier and I fell asleep from like 6.30 to 8 o'clock. I woke up on the couch. So... I had a feeling that was going to screw me over, and it clearly did. And now I'm just going to pay the consequences. But the only other thing I do is um, pick out my clothes for tomorrow, which I'm wearing pajamas again because the school that I work at, we have two groups of kids because of COVID, Monday, Thursday kids, and Tuesday, Friday kids. So yesterday, or yesterday, today and tomorrow are pajama days because it's our last two days before break. So I'm wearing pajamas. I wish I could wear pajamas every day of my life. And then I'll go to work tomorrow. I'll hand my gifts out. The kids are all just doing fun stuff all day. Thank God. And then I'm going to my friend's house. And we are all going to um, do our Christmas and eat dinner and exchange all the presents we got each other. So that'll be super fun. And I'll probably do a video after I get everything that I'm going to get for Christmas and tell everybody what I got. So I will see you guys later in the next video.